everybody, Mr. Bioli, <laughs> welcome back, welcome back to another UGG video. Oh, what do you look at that? It's Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland is back. The greatest time of the year. Ah, oh, it's when the ARC developers, it's when Wildcard Studios gives us awesome new things to play with. And this year they've done themselves. They have, um, they've blown the lid straight off the box and they've, they've given us the greatest, probably the greatest event in the last couple of years. They have given us little baby miniature dinosaurs little cheapy dinosaurs would you look at this little guy that's right this isn't no baby rex that is a full grown rex and he's upset he doesn't want to be discriminated against because of his size this is a full this is him this is all the years he's i don't know how he's staying balanced to be honest because that sensor of like weight right there um that's he'd be running around with his head grazing against the floor let's be real uh but today we're going to be checking them all out there are 54 of these creatures and i have obtained every single one of them this guy here is rexy the rex i'm going to show you guys how to get them i'm going to show you how to use them um there's a couple ways that these guys can actually be obtained a couple varieties of ways one of them is of course by uh following around raptor claws across the skies when he does his little midnight run across dropping presents um he drops mistletoes and cold and chibis along the way that you can get like that the other option is by giving your little missile toes and coal to your friendly old nearby neighborhood gotcha claws and uh by doing that he also has the opportunity to pop out some little chibi pets for you so that's how you want to be getting them um other than that there is also a whole variety of spawn codes that you could use to get these guys in one at a time you just want to go gfi chibi dino underscore and then just type in the first few letters of a dinosaur and it usually uh gives them to you right away so you can go and check them out for yourselves um but let's get into the excitement let's get in and check these little guys out this is what they look like in your inventory everyone has its own little name everyone has its own thing you equip them in your offhand slot as you can see and they basically earn experience the same way that we earn experience um so i guess when we go and attack a creature they will go ahead and do it as well but apparently you got to kill alpha dinosaurs to make that happen i don't know we'll, we'll go and check that out later on um but along with that they can also level up your max level so that's kind of cool as well i suppose uh but let's go through one by one and check all of these guys out as you do it you get to name your dinosaur as well or your little chibi guy as well um this guy here is the allosaurus and he is one of the cheekiest little guys i've ever seen they're actually really hard to get like a good look at because they don't sit still actually i think if you walk away with them they kind of follow you but they just they like to look Look away from you so you kind of got to use this little camera mode to have a little look that is one of the cheekiest little dinosaurs i've ever seen though well we got 54 of these guys to get through let's not waste any time here we have the ankylosaurus yet another giant headed little guy i like the colorings on this guy though that's actually a really, really cool color with a little blue buddy. Uh, the tail. The tail is what gets me on this guy. He's got his little swinging old thing. I have seen a couple of these guys already, by the way, just because um, I've recorded a video for my current series that's running on the channel, which if you uh, haven't checked out, go ahead and do so. It's an Eternal Chaos modded series. Um, but due to uploading schedules, that hasn't come out just yet. So, um spoiler alert i suppose um let's keep going though let's keep on looking the argentavis i haven't seen the argentavis yet let's have a looky this guy flies i've seen this guy before this guy was in the little like video that wildcard put together to preview it i'm pretty sure i thought it was a feather light for some reason i thought they'd done a chibi feather light but no it's an actual chibi argentavis and oh my gosh i never knew i wanted something this bad until i seen it this thing is incredible. Look at the little guy. He's so cute. How does he follow me around? Did he just fly after me? I guess so. Oh, I got to demonstrate something as well that I worked out. So if we get, uh, what's a dinosaur? Let's just get a griffin, for example. If you get yourself a griffin, uh, I can't tame. Okay, we can't do a griffin. What's a dinosaur that you can ride without a saddle is basically what I'm wondering. You know what? I realize that there aren't really any, so we're just going to stick with the Pteranodon for now. But check this out here. You might be wondering, what do these guys do when you're flying around or riding around in your dinosaurs? Well, they snuggle in nice and tight right in... Wait, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's right in my little hands, sitting right there. It's like the cutest, most little adorable thing in the world. Ah, oh, I love it. Let's keep going, though. Let's keep on going. So next up, we got the Baryonyx. This guy... No, Baryonyx? Yeah, Baryonyx. This is what this guy here is. This guy's amazing. Are you ready? I don't know if you're ready, because this guy here is one of the coolest of the bunch. 
<laughs> he is the derpiest little dude I've ever seen. He kind of looks like... He kind of looks like uh, he's straight out of, like, Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo. Like, one of the little, like, King K. Rules little alligator dinosaur little guys that wants to eat your monkeys. Anyways, he looks awesome. He's probably one of my favorites. Just that real derpy smile of his. I've never realized... I guess I've never been up close and personal with the Baryonics before. I need to pay more attention now because if their head and teeth are that messed up, I'm going to have to see it in person for myself. Next up, I think this is this is one of the first Genesis dinosaurs. I forgot to mention, there are also chibis relating to the upcoming Genesis DLC. This here is the Bog Spider, which uh, for those of you who have seen the trailer for the upcoming DLC, you might recognize. That's weird as... That is weird. That is so creepy. I'm really not a spider fan. Uh, um, as I'm assuming most people aren't, but dude, this guy here, I'm expecting to be one of my favorite, like, creatures in the upcoming DLC, uh, but he's just an awesome looking little guy. Let's keep going. What do we got next? Uh, this is the, what is that? Is that a, that's our Brontosaurus. Oh, look at his, like, his papa's, like, watching from behind over there. Oh my gosh. Look how, like, tubby his body is and how stumpy his legs are. His tail is so small as well. <laughs> I think that's the funniest part, just like the lack of size in the tail. But then its neck, the girth of its neck is just ridiculous. And this guy here just crawls around after us as well, I suppose. Actually, I've got to test this one out. What does he look like when I'm like riding my Tyranodon? Oh, look at that. There's not even room on the seat for the both of us, but he just squeezes his way in. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's keep it going though. This guy has to be our Carbo, right? Is this our Carbo? Is that what we're dealing with here? Oh my gosh. That is, uh, that's something. That is something. That is the creepiest turtle I think I've ever seen. Oh my golly, golly gosh. Um, don't even ask me how this thing is staying balanced. Its head is bigger than its body. But good on you, buddy. He must have some really strong neck muscles or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, next up, we got the Kano, of course. Oh, this guy here looks awesome. Again, monster head. Actually, no, he doesn't look awesome. He looks creepy. He looks hideous. Like, that is just a... Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know what to... I don't know what more needs to be said about that. Kano's a weird enough looking as it is. Just look at that eye. That eye looks... Oh, it looks infected or something. All right. All right. Let's keep going. That Castoroids is next. Everyone's favorite little marsupial beaver guy. Are they even marsupials? No, they're not. It's just a mammal. Yeah, this guy is adorable. This guy is really, really cool. He's probably one of the only ones that just looks like a little baby. Like he looks, he looks like that could just be a baby beaver. He looks amazing, actually. What does he look like on the saddle? I should have got a better saddle example because the pteranodon's are really not that great of a way of demonstrating, but he's there. He's, he's he looks like a badger or something. Wait. Yeah, no, Castro's are beavers. Yeah, yeah, they're not badgers. Badgers are those other guys. Oh, oh, oh. This guy here I'm excited to check out. Another one of the Genesis dinosaurs. This guy here is that giant lava golem creature, titan, whatever you want to call it. Look at this little guy. That's amazing looking. That is so, so cool looking. How adorable. I can't wait to ride around on one of these, like, in full size. But for now, we've just got to deal with a tiny little baby version who's still pretty cool in his own regard. Let's keep going. What do we got next? We got the Deodon. That little image just looks weird. Oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm not the biggest fan of these guys. I'm really not a fan of these little piggies, but that is adorable. That is just so adorable. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I think I'm a new fan. Oh, look at this little... Wait, hold on, hold on. His tail was wagging. Look at this little tail wag. Oh, he's such a little cutie. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Die wolf. All right, I like me a good die wolf. What do the little puppies look? Oh my gosh. I need one of these. I need one of these to keep. Because that is just the most adorable little thing in the world. Oh. <laughs> I think we've got a favorite. I think that's my favorite so far for sure. But let's keep the ball rolling. We've got the Dirty Curious next. He's just got a big old head. In fact, he's a really dark color. He's a little bit more like, I would say, in proportion than the Ankylo. I think you guys would agree with me. I mean, his tail is at least normal sized. Um, 
absolutely adorable though absolutely adorable and if anyone's wondering you can't actually interact with these guys like that's pretty much it they follow you around they're just like little oh my gosh oh cuteness overload right here cuteness overload i don't think i don't think we're gonna outdo that oh my gosh oh my lord what in the world is that little thing that is so cool little horsey what's with the colorings as well they're all like black and blue and all sorts it's kind of weird Alrighty, next up, we got... Is that a jug bug? I think that was a jug bug. Uh, what's the jug bug look like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Alright, alright. Nothing more needs to be said about that guy. Uh, what was this? I didn't even look... Oh, it's a Giga! Dude! Oh, it's like a... It's just a Giga with a bigger head and a smaller everything. Wow. That looks cool. That's what I was most excited to see. I think, like, it's cool seeing small dinosaurs smaller, of course. But it's when you get the big dinosaurs that are, like, tiny-fied. Ah, oh, that just looks adorable. Ah, oh, I want one of these guys. I need, I need one of these guys. All right, all right, all right. Oh, Gigapic, Gigapithecus? The Gigantopithecus. What am I talking about? Let's have, oh, my gosh. What is that? What is that? You've, you've heard of Bigfoot. Now you've got little... Actually, you've still got pretty big feet, to be fair. That thing is adorable. For a, for, a, for a monkey, it's still quite adorable. Let's keep the ball rolling, though. We've got an Iguanodon up next. Okay. I'm really not a fan of Iguanodons. But this guy's adorable. So are all of them. I honestly... This is just a little cutie video. That's all this is, isn't it? We're just checking out little cute dinosaurs today. That's, I guess that's the moral of the video, right? I mean, we can't really fault it. I'm not, it's not misleading any, any way, shape or form. It's, you, what you see is what you get, I suppose. What's up next though? The Kentrosaurus. I feel like this guy's going to be a little spiky. Yep, yep, yep. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice colors on him too. <laughs> it kind of looks, isn't that a stego head? I guess they're related. They're literally related dinosaurs. No, nothing more needs to be said there. Adorable little guy. Let's keep the ball rolling. The mammoth. Fantastic. Fantastic. Couldn't have done it better myself. Absolutely adorable. Adorable. <laughs> so cool. So cool. The Megalania up next. Um, I don't know what to expect. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Kind of just looks like a Lystrosaurus. That gruesome teeth and... Is kind of aggressive looking. What is that behind me? Oh, it looked a bit bigger from where I was. You know, I've never actually tamed one of these guys before. Diplocolus, right? Yeah, I think you just scared him, poor little guy. I've never actually tamed one of them before. Anyways, let's come up here on the beach. Oh, he's like a little tiny, like, gecko or something. Cool, cool, cool. Keep it going. Megaloceros up next. How big? Oh, yeah. I already knew it. I already knew it. I already knew how big these guys... I knew they were going to go oversized on the horns. Or just... I guess they were just going to leave the horns and just minify, miniaturize the body. Amazing. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because this guy is such an out... Like, those horns are huge. What does he look like? Oh. <laughs> I look like I've got giant deer horns. We've, like, merged into one. Fantastic. I love it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Megatherium, of course. Our little anteater. There he is. What a weird looking dude. I mean, these guys are pretty weird looking as it is. This guy just looks extra weird now. Keep it going. Must Chops is up next. You know this guy's going to be cool. What is he? Just a giant head on a tiny body? Something looks so out of proportion. I think it's just the size of his head. But at the end of the day, that's what a chibi is. Is Actually, hold on. How wide, how wide is his head? It's just a rectangle head. <laughs> All right. Oviraptor up next. What's our Oviraptor going to look like? Whoopsie. Yeah, I guess I guess that's what you'd expect of an Oviraptor, isn't it? There's no real true surprises there, is there? Let's keep it going. We still got so many to get through. Parasarathium up next. That's adorable. He looks so sleepy. He looks like he needs a nap. Um, I guess it's just a tiny parasa with a big head. It's kind of, I'm just, like literally every one of these is described the same way. It's a tiny version with a big head. The parasaur, of course. Again, big head, tiny buddy. <laughs> what a weird looking dude. 
Uh, Fyomia. I wonder if this guy poops the size of his, like, bigger version. Brontosaurus, bugger off, buddy. We've already dealt with the Brontos today. Fyomia. His teeth are bigger than his legs. Interesting. Interesting. We've got the Phoenix. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. This is what I thought the Featherlight was. It is, in fact, a Phoenix, but you can't really get a good look at it. There's old Bronto there stomping all over my little holiday shack. Um, the Phoenix is amazing. That is really cool. I think that might be my favorite so far. A lot of detail to it. It just looks cool. It looks like a feather light. Eh, I like it. That's really, really awesome. Um, I don't even know how many we've still got left to go through. We, we must be getting close. Procopter done. Actually, I think we are because it's all alphabetical. Procopter. Oh, oh, my little kangaroo brother. Where are you? Oh my gosh. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, that. It looks like a rabbit. <laughs> the Procopter done just looks like a, it looks like a rabbit. That's what it is. It's a hair. It's kind of hard to see with those colors though. Let me just, uh, let me just check out some other colorings. Yeah. All right. Still very dark. Why are they all so dark? How about this guy? That's a bit. Nope. Still quite as dark. All right. Procoptodon's cool. Just looks like a giant rabbit. <gasps> My favorite. My favorite. Pteranodon time. Oh, that is just amazing. What does a pteranodon on a pteranodon look like though? Now we're asking the true questions. Look at him snuggly up there. Look at him just, just sitting there under his papa. Under me all the claws. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at the way he just like buzzes around my head as well. He just follows us around. That's cool. That's adorable. Uh, what's up next? The Pulmonoscorpius. <laughs> I don't know what I expected from the scorpion, to be honest. They don't really have a head. I guess instead they just give him big pincers and a big, a big stinger. And a tiny little body and tiny legs. That's actually like, I'm not a big fan of scorpions either. Um, but that is, that is amazing. That's one of my favorites for sure. Top 10, top 10 for sure. <gasps> the Quetzal, they've given us the Quetzal. Oh, he looks like, what does he look like? All right. That's one of the craziest head to body proportions I've seen yet. The head outweighs the body by like at least two times, at least two times. <laughs> Alrighty, raptor time, baby. Raptor time. Ah, uh, he reminds me of the raptors from um, Conker's Bad Fur Day. That is a ah, uh, even the colorings on it. That's like my that's my color scheme right there. A little bit of pink, a little bit of purple, a bit of violet. Big old eyes, big old head, tiny old tail. The tails are so small; they look so out of place. Uh, oh, 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 the Reaper. The Reaper? I, di I didn't think that. I didn't even notice that they did the Reaper. Uh, yes. That is the creepiest looking little chibi I've ever seen. That guy's like right alongside the Kano and right alongside. Wasn't there someone else that looks really weird? Did he just follow us around too? Yeah. <laughs> what a weird little guy. All right. We can't have many left to get through. The Rock Drake. One of my all time favorite creatures in this game. Adorable. You do, Adorable. Um, hey, Rock Drake, will you help me fight this guy if I if we want to do that? True done. Bugger off. True done. True done. Um, I don't think my guy's helping me. He's just following me around, I suppose. But that's right. My Tyranodon took care of business. That's all that matters. All right, so let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Rock Golem up next. This has got to be one of the remaining final. Oh, my gosh. I never thought a rock could look so cute. That's so cool. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. Ah, oh, he looks so tough as well. He's got his little, like, macho stance. Ain't nobody messing around with him. <gasps> Sabertooth Tiger! Again, that looks amazing. I love it. I, it actually looks like he's got a ton of detail on it. I guess that's because he's, like, one of the TLC dinosaurs. What a little beautiful little guy. He's probably one of the more believable. He just looks like a house cat. He looks like a little baby tiger. Really? That's all he looks like. Oh, the shapeshifter. Oh, I forgot about this guy. So there's two variants to the shapeshifters, of course. You've got the large shapeshifter, which is this old weird wacky guy. Um, I think this is what the shapeshifter looks like at nighttime, or maybe you shapeshift him yourself. Uh, yep, that guy falls into like top five creepy category for sure. And then you've got the little baby shapeshifter, which is like his little former evolution, which 
To be fair, he looks just as creepy, I reckon. He still looks super creepy. Yeah, I'm talking to you, buddy, you little creepy fella. Uh, Snow Owl! What's this guy look like? Oh, he's flying. Of course he is. Let's pop up up here. Yeah, I guess that's just about what you'd expect a Snow Owl to look like. Um, And the Spino. Spino. What do we got here? Oh, he's standing up on two legs. Oh, he's so far advanced. The adult Spino is only just realized about a year ago how to walk on two legs. Meanwhile, this guy, little baby guy. Actually, it's even less believable that this guy's walking around on two legs. The size of his head. There ain't no way those legs are supporting him upright. Oh, well. I think that's it. Oh, no, Stego. We still got, we still got a few more to go. Wow. Okay. I keep thinking we're done and then we're not done. This is the Stego. Again, with the beautiful color scheme with a bit of violet, a bit of pink to him. Fantastic looking guy. Uh, Tapajara. Another flyer. I guess all the flyers are kind of the same at this point, aren't they? They're all, they're all doing pretty much the same thing. I've, I was saying just the other day, there's like an odd amount of detail to the Tapajaras. They've got this like really strong texture to them. They look awesome. Even just in like big form. Terra Bird, one of my top three least favorite dinosaurs. And nothing changes. Just looks like an overgrown parrot. Uh, there is Enosaur. My little tick tickle fingers. The true tickle fingers. They, those, those fingers look like they'd do some damage. Um, I guess he's got the same size head on a tiny little buddy. I haven't said that yet today, have I? Uh, Thylacolio. I feel like this guy's going to be a cutie. Oh, that is a cutie. Oh, that is a cutie. Patootie right there. <laughs> look at the size of his head. Oh, adorable. Adorable. Triceratops, of course. This guy's going to have a big old head, isn't he? Look at the lid on that. The cranium space that this guy takes up is ridiculous. Damn. All right. What else? What else? <gasps> Wyvern? What? Oh, hold on. I need one of these. Nope. Stand up, you banana. I need one of these. I need this in my regular series. Oh. <gasps> That is amazing. I think that's my favorite. How could it not be your favorite? Uh, Yudiranus is up next. Looks like we still got a few to go through. There he is. I guess it's a Yudiranus. I don't know what more to say about it. <gasps> the Ovis. These guys are like my mortal enemies at the moment. But this guy, this guy is a little cutie. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What a little beautiful little thing. Look at the eyes on it, man. Don't stare into them. He'll, like, consume your soul or something. Uh, we've got the Woolly Rhino up next, of course. And that might be it. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. There's one more left after this guy. Yeah, it's pretty much just a, a giant rhino. Uh, minimized. Minified. Uh, we have the... Roll Rat. Who looks like the little gerbil guy off of Kim Possible. Uh, that's it. That's our final little guy. Okay, this guy just looks weird. Like, roll rats are weird as it is. You go and, like, take away his legs. <laughs> he just looks like a giant, wrinkly... Yeah, 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 he's an interesting-looking guy. Yeah, very interesting-looking guy. But that's it. I think that's it. That is all 54 or so, all 50-ish of the new chibi dinosaurs. These guys are all obtainable in Vanilla Arc. I hope you enjoyed the little showcase of them all. I can't wait to, uh, I can know, start my collection. We're going to try and collect them all. I hope you did enjoy this video, though. If you did, please go ahead, punch that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.